So the absolutely awesome gaming capabilities of Valve's Steam Deck have been pretty well documented thus far. But it is just a Linux machine in the shape of a Nintendo Switch. And if it's running Linux, then why can't it run Kali Linux? Well, the answer is, it can. If you want to set this up yourself, it takes about 10 minutes. It's pretty easy, and I'll walk you through what you need and how to do it now. So everything here is completely optional, but the first thing I recommend is a JSOX dock. It doesn't have to be JSOX, they're just a really good bang for buck on Amazon. It's got a couple of ports on the side, an Ethernet port, really handy for gaming and really handy for putting different variations of Linux on the Steam Deck. Next thing is a Bluetooth mouse. As you can see, this is the MX Master 2. I really enjoy using it because you can switch between computers, which is handy for work and personal use. The next thing I recommend is a A2 SD card. A2 just means it's got really fast read and write speeds, which is handy for loading Linux onto it, and it's also handy for gaming, as you can imagine. Fourth thing you'll need is a Bluetooth keyboard. Again, I've gone for the Logitech one here, the MX Master. I really like it for switching between work and personal. And the final thing you'll need is obviously a Steam Deck. So to do this, you're going to need to go to the Kali Linux website and download the latest ISO. Place the ISO image on your desktop and download a piece of software called Etcher. Pop in your SD card and flash the image of your ISO to the SD card. You flash the ISO image onto the SD card, you want to pop it in your Steam Deck. Come back, hold the volume down button and the power on till you launch into the BIOS menu. Scroll down to the bottom, hit A. Flip your Steam Deck 90 degrees to the right. Hit A again, and it should load straight into it after a couple of minutes. Now, priority number one here is going to be to sort out that screen orientation. So if you come into settings, display, rotation, select right from the drop down list with the right hand trigger, press close, and then you should see the screen orientation is back to how it should be. And there we go, a full version of Kali installed on the Steam Deck. Now to answer a few questions. Does the Steam Deck's Wi-Fi chip support monitor mode? Surprisingly, yes it does, so you will be able to sniff packets. Is this version of Kali Linux persistent? My configuration isn't, but you can configure it to be persistent. Now, I don't want to perpetrate the idea that somehow running Kali makes you a cybersecurity expert, but this was just a fun little project, and if you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.